Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and in this video we're going to be looking at DNS, why DNS is important and how to change your DNS and finally we're going to be taking a look at Cloudflare's new DNS service. Alright, so again you might be look at, you might look at this as your complete guide to a DNS and that's what I intend this video to be. Alright, so why am I making this video? Let's start off with that simple question. Well, the reason I'm making this video is uh, because I made a DNS video previously with the proxy chains videos. It followed up uh, promptly after that and I was explaining why it is important to mask your DNS or to change your DNS uh, well in order to give you a, a higher sense of anonymity and I'm going to be explaining everything now. So even if you know DNS, I would still recommend that you watch this video because I'll be explaining a lot of small tips that you might have missed out. Alright, so don't worry if you're a beginner, just uh, take it in, sit down, relax and let's get started. So the first thing you might be asking yourself if you've never heard of it is what is a DNS? What is DNS? Well, DNS essentially means domain name server. So what is the purpose of a domain name server? Well, its its purpose, its simple purpose is to resolve a domain to an IP address. So let's say you go to your browser and you type in google.com. Well, your what happens is your browser connects to the ISP. Alright, your ISP then connects to a d uh, domain name server and uh, that domain name server uh, checks all right so this guy entered google.com uh, can we find any ip address related to google.com if it finds one it gets that ip it uh, sends a request to that ip which is obviously google server that server then sends data back which is then processed by a browser by a browser and the web page is displayed all right so a domain name server resolves a domain to an ip address or a server address, uh, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now, why is it so important uh, in terms of anonymity and privacy? Well, uh, the reason as we were looking at with proxy chains and uh, using it with a VPN is, uh, let's say you use proxy chains uh, and you are trying to change your IP. Well, that's fine. But what happens if someone snoops into your DNS information? Well, your DNS information will leak your ISP information, which of course, reveals what country you're in. And if they know the ISP, they can easily get your IP address. And you know, there was no point in using proxy chains at all. All right. Now we have looked at some of the, uh, the most common DNS servers in that video. Uh, we looked at, uh, we looked at open DNS, which is great, but nowadays it's become really, really slow. Uh, but the great thing about open DNS is they actually, uh, they actually keep your, your uh, browsing activity private. So again, it cannot be, uh, so again, it cannot be, uh, it cannot be tracked, which is awesome. Now, the problem with the Google de uh, domain name server, which uh, most of you are using and I've really recommended that you don't use it is because it only improves your, your page loading speed of the speed for. So for example, Facebook, for example, Google, YouTube. So it will only load sites faster that it wants you to load faster or, or, you know, sites that have essential services. I hope you're getting the, uh, the, the idea. So the DNS server for Google was 8.8.8.8. .8 now that one, I know most of you have heard many of your IT teachers or professors have told you to use that, but please, for the love of God, do not use that. That is going to get you in a lot of trouble, especially, especially if you're planning to keep yourself anonymous. Even if you're using a VPN, you need to change your domain name server, which is what we're going to be focusing on now. So I'm going to show you how to change your domain name server on Kali Linux and on Windows. All right. So it's really very simple. Now, as I said, we were talking about, uh, about Cloudflare's new DNS s service and their DNS service is simply 1.1.1.1. Simple as that. And it's awesome. And again, you might be asking yourself, well, why are we using Cloudflare's new DNS, uh, DNS service? Well, number one, it's going to improve your browsing or uh, page loading speed by 25%. And this is actually true. I've tried loading, you know, sites like uh, the Washington Post, even on my mobile device. It was fantastic. It was unbelievable how fast it's loading these sites. So the DNS servers are really, really quick. And secondly, this was set up spe especially and specifically for privacy and to prevent your ISP from tracking your browsing activity. Because remember, if you're new and you, let's just take a simple example. Let's say, you have your ISP install a router for you and they have provided you with an internet connection. All right. So you, you know, you whip out your laptop and you connect to the Wi-Fi network and you think, wow, this is fantastic. Um, let's see. Let me just whip out a VPN 
uh, let's say you have a VPN and uh, you've not changed your domain name server. Well, uh, your IP is going to change, but guess what's not going to change? Your DNS is not going to change. And in most cases, they have set the DNS to their IP or your router's IP, which is obviously theirs. And uh, they're just going through your browsing history or activity if they want to. All right. So again, if you're looking for privacy and you really, really want to, or you're focused on fighting on, uh, fighting net neutrality, uh, for, uh, or against whatever, I don't, it doesn't really matter whatever your stance is. Um, I, you know, I'm with you, but again, I'm focused on freedom and anonymity and privacy of data. That's why I'm making this video. So let's get started with how to change your domain name server. Firstly, on Kali Linux. All right, so I'll be linking the blog post for Cloudfare's, uh, I'll be linking Cloudfare's blog post uh, in the description so you can check that out for yourself. All right, so to change it on Kali Linux, it's really very simple. Uh, it is, uh, it, it, uh, it's essentially the setting uh, lies in a file called the resolve.configuration file, uh, which you can edit using any editor, whether you're using, uh, you can do this on any Linux distribution, it doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm going to use the nano editor. You can use the G edit, uh, leaf pad, whatever you feel is comfortable for you. I'm not going to force you to use anything. All right, so nano, it lies in the etc folder or etsy folder. Again, you can browse using the file explorer if that's what you like. And resolve, uh, dot conf. All right, resolve dot conf. That's, uh, that's the configuration file. And if I hit enter, oh, what's this? What's happening here? Uh, generated by network manager. As you can see, my current name server or domain name server is set to my router's IP address, which means again, my ISP is going to be tracking the browsing history from this computer. Now I changed it back just to show you how dangerous and how insanely uh, vulnerable you can become with, with something like this. All right. So simply just, uh, just, just get rid of your, uh, the, whether it's set to the router or your access point uh, IP and set it to 1.1.1.1. Now, if you don't want to use Cloudfare's domain name server, you can use OpenDNS, you can use Komodo DNS, you can use Google if you want to, but again, I'm, I'm gonna be your friend here, and I'm gonna tell you, please, 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 just use something that's secure. I'm begging you guys, because I'm, when, you know, when shit hits the fan, and when your data is starting to be looked at, and is gonna be sold, you're gonna be in a lot of shit. So I'm just telling you that right now, as a friend, uh, I don't mean to be, uh, you, you know, to be wild or extreme, uh, but y just listen to what I'm telling you guys. There's a reason I've made this video. All right, so to, to, to save it with nano, just hit control O and it's going to ask you whether you want to write to the file. Just hit enter and now just hit control X to exit the nano editor. Once that's done, I'm going to open up my browser. Now again, I'm not using any VPN or proxy chains. I'm just showing you that, uh, this is, uh, this is what's going to happen if you're not using any VPN. My IP address will be leaked. No problem about that. Uh, you can use VPN or proxy chains. By the way, if you're interested in a VPN service, check out the link in the description. You can check out the VPN, uh, links that I have in the description. They'll give you a huge discount off your, off, uh, off your order. It's really important that you have a VPN. All right, getting back uh, to testing for uh, any DNS leaks. Of course, we're gonna uh, have a DNS leaks, but they're not going to be from my ISP. All right, so DNS leak test.com. I'm gonna be hiding my real IP because I said, as I said, I'm not using any pro anything like proxy chains or a VPN. I'm just showing you that indeed your uh, DNS will not be leaked, your DNS information. All right, so I'm gonna hit standard. This should be bled. I'm gonna hit standard test. And what will happen here is it should tell you that you're using Cloudflare, all right? If it tells you're using Cloudflare as your ISP, you're good. Now that means again, your ISP is, is gonna show up as Cloudflare and Cloudflare is not releasing any of your browsing activity uh, and you're pretty much good there and you're going through Cloudflare. So again, if you're looking for an awesome domain name server, this is for you. And it's as simple as that. That's how easy it is to change it and you're good. Now, for those of you on Windows and you're not really interested on how to do it with Linux, it's very, very simple. Let me just go back into my Windows operating system here. And you want to right click on your network manager and you want to go into the open network and internet settings, or you can go into your control panel for us hardcore Windows users, network and internet, network and sharing center. You want to go to change adapter settings. You want to right click on the adapter you're using, whether it's Wi-Fi or ethernet. I'm using ethernet, so I'm going to hit right click and hit properties. 
and it's going to open up my ethernet properties now you want to go into your internet protocol version 4 your tcp uh, ipv4 version if you're using ipv6 make sure you change that as well but i doubt that you're using it click on properties and you want to go uh, you see right now it's saying obtain DNS server or address automatically. Again, I reverted it to show you that in this case, it's going to use your ISP domain name server, which uh, again, DNS leaks. So uh, yeah, so you want to hit use the following DNS server addresses. So just hit 1.1, 1 .1, sorry, 1.1.1.1. 1 .1 1 .1. And you can enter an alternate DNS server if this one doesn't work. And you can just hit validate settings upon exit and just hit OK and close and you should be done and that is how to successfully change your dns server sorry i don't know why that was uh, launching the windows diagnostics and uh, as you saw uh, i was able to successfully change my domain name server uh, so yeah that is what a dns is what dns is why it's important and how to change it and we have looked at one of the best options right now which is cloudflare all right, so this is a very important video that i just thought i pushed out so you can consider it as the complete guide to DNS. Now again, I really encourage you guys to share this with friends or family or people you'd think will benefit from this. This is really, really huge guys because there are going to be a lot of changes in the future regarding uh, internet and privacy. So again, you've seen with the Facebook data breach that your data is not being taken seriously at all. So again, I'm really, really making this video just, uh, you know, to, to keep you guys safe. And I, again, as I said, I, I'm your friend. That's all I want for you guys. I just want the best for you and your families and for your friends, you know, just the best. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found value in it, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks, or you can post your questions on my website. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.